ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದಸೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ಬಾಂಶಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂಕುಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧ್ವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವ್ ವೈಪಿ ಆವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ್ವ ನರಂಜೈವನೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ ಧೈಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಭಿರಂಜನುತ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಮ ಪುನರ್ವಾ ಪುನರ್ವಾಲ್ಭವಾಧಿಭೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಜಿಯತ್ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನ ಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಮಿ ಗೋಪೋದೂಷ್ವರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮೈ ಕದಾಕ್ತಿ ಪಾಕೃಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವಸಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ಚದಸಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇಣ ಸದಾ ನರ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷೀ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣೋ ಪ್ರಿಯಮನಂಗುಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವರಾನಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯುಪದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬಿಹಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಗ್ರಹಸಾಂ ಹೇತು ಪಂಥ ಸಂತಾಪವರ್ಜಿತ ಅನವಾಪ್ತ ಸಮಂ ಪೂರ್ವೆ ಜೇನು ಸಂತೋ ವ್ರತಸ್ಥಿರೆ ಸಾಮೃಗ ಶ್ರೇಯಸಾಂ ಹೇತು ಪಂಥ ಸಂತಾಪವರ್ಜಿತ ಅನವಾಪ್ತ ಸಮಂ ಪೂರ್ವೆ ಜೇನು ಸಂತೋ ವ್ರತಸ್ಥಿರೆ ಗೌರಿಯಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಗೌರಿಯಗೋಷ್ಠಿಪತಿ ಶ್ರೀಶೀಲಾ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಗೋಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಪ್ರ
परमस जगत गुरु टोल्ड वेन देर इज नो बडी टू प्रोटेक्ट मी वेन देर इज नो बडी टू प्रोटेक्ट मी फ्रॉम ऑल द फोर डायरेक्शन हु इज नो नो बडी इज देयर टू प्रोटेक्ट मी फ्रॉम ऑल द फोर डायरेक्शन अप टिल दैट पॉइंट देन द सराउंडिंग सिचुएशन कैन टेक अ वेरी डेंजरस टर्न इट कैन गो अगेंस्ट मी एंड इट विल डेफिनेटली गो ना किल मी एंड दे विल जस्ट गो ना ब्रेक मी डाउन कौड़िया गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड द वेन देर इज नो बडी टू प्रोटेक्ट मी फ्रॉम ऑल द फोर डायरेक्शन देन ऑल देन ऑल द फोर डायरेक्शन ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन इट विल जस्ट विल टेक अ फॉर्म ऑफ अ वेरी डेंजरस थिंग एंड विल जस्ट को ना अटैक मी एंड जस्ट को ना ब्रेक मी इन टू पीसिस माई ओनली प्रोटेक्शन हु इज एक्चुअली हु इज एक्चुअली प्रोटेक्टिंग मी who can uh, always protect me from all this if someone can all think of this that i can definitely protect myself that i have man power i have money power i have uh, earth ball i have low ball everything i have so this kind of false ego if i have on that if you are actually asking me rightly then nobody can protect anyone at all even your father cannot protect his child even a boy cannot uh, protect his father even a mother can't protect his child you cannot protect your father mother also so nobody can protect anyone in this whole material world the whole jeevas in this material world all are actually helpless whatever uh, bonded jeevas they are they are all helpless they can understand they can just think of this whether that i have this financial power this that power i have but a lot of forces i have also that can protect me but at last no one nobody can protect them at all nobody can protect anyone whether many power nor man power no one can no one can protect uh, anyone everyone each and every bonded jeeva are all actually uh, alone they are all uh, pr- uh, without protection no support is there supportless why because in their life that actual support which is of pure guru vaishnav that krishna their actual support is not at all there in their life they don't have any guru dev guru vaishnav is not there in their life so that's why vrindavan das thakur ji has just uh, written here a uh, this siddhant actually he has written here just be attentive on this point what i'm speaking it means that those who are actually taking the support ashray and he is doing hari bhajan he is only protected that's it why because krishna cannot uh, uh, definitely going to protect him and otherwise those who are actually not taking support of krishna all others definitely going to uh, all useless their life is actually going useless nobody can uh, support and protect anyone whether uh, the financial power in financial bank what is there in money is there he cannot protect then why if i can protect it by the money then who are actually getting millions and millions of dollars why they are actually their child he is just a uh, child got killed in a very normal jaundice fever the actual thing is that nobody can actually protect anyone at all this is only the guru vaishnav can only protect us from everything and vindavan das thakur ji actually speaking this point that's why vrindavan das thakur ji speaking that without taking any support this kind of vishay actually it is very much uh, in depth and each every and every person can think that i have taken the shelter of my gurudev but uh, who has be having that uh, topmost ashray that kind of vichar is the topmost you just need to do the vichar because if the ashray is kapat then by body speech and mind whatever that kind of thinking it is very easy to speak that i have given on to the lotus feet of gurudev by body speech and mind everything i have just given on to the lotus feet of gurudev but when you will be practically doing that then on the money of gurudev on the sampatti of gurudev property of gurudev gurudev cannot think that the money is his gurudev thinking that it is all coming from bhagwan 
एंड अवर दृष्टि आर दर्शन इज दैट नो आई विल जस्ट बी इंजॉइंग द लैंड प्रॉपर्टी मनी ऑफ गुरुदेव वॉट ही हैज़ गिवन मी सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सो दिस इज माई दर्शन वॉट टू डू दैट इन गुरु वस्तु आई हैव दैट लघु दर्शन इंजॉइंग बोट दैट काइंड ऑफ इंजॉइंग दर्शन दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड एट ऑल बाय हैविंग दैट दर्शन लघु दर्शन मीन्स दैट हैविंग माया दर्शन दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल गुड गुरुदेव इफ यू विल बी थिंकिंग दैट यू आर थिंकिंग दैट हिमसेल्फ हैज इज इंजॉइंग ऑब्जेक्ट इफ गुरु गुरुपाद पद्म इज बिकमिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ माई इंजॉइंग थिंग इफ गुरुपाद पद्म आई एम थिंकिंग दैट ही इज जस्ट एन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ माई इंजॉइंग बोर्ड जस्ट फॉर लाभ पूजा एंड प्रतिष्ठा आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग वन वेपन गुरुपाद पद्म then apart from me no one can be more uh, uh, i am the most uh, hellish person ever so much nark is so much hellish i am so much fraudster i am then you can't even imagine guru vishnu apart from guru vishnu bhagwan apart from bhagwan uh, bhagwan guru vishnu and bhagwan and guru vishnu apart from guru vishnu and bhagwan if we are actually taking shelter of maya then whatever we have of an opulences we have you know maya devi will not protect us at all there is actually no support for us only and in order to just protect from maya there is only gurudev is there who can protect me from maya that kind of material abhinivesh i have in this material world that kind of material relationships i have made with so much people and so much objects this kind of uh, material abhinivesh that each and every object i have that enjoying mood is there in each and every material object who will actually protect me only pure guru vishnu can protect me from this bhagwan only bhagwan and pure guru vishnu can protect only guru vishnu can protect me shri gorang mahaprabhu their eternal parshad the eternal parshad of gorang mahaprabhu shri gudupad padma he is actually just taking me out of this from material of her circle of birth and that and he is just uh, taking his hand so that i can take his support and go out of this material world Every day we are actually singing this, but we are not at all paying attention to this. Shri Gorang Mahaprabhu, who is eternal Parshad, Shri Guru Pad Padma, he will definitely gonna protect us from this material bondage. He will gonna cut this material bondage and will be giving us the, his hand so that we can just take his support and get out of this material world. Who is actually uh, Guru and who is Lagu? This kind of vichar is very much important in our life. In Bengali, there is one uh, pro in one. that muri and mishri is of same price in bengali all the time some person are uh, speaking this it means that murmura you know that muri and mishri kandri that they are at all, all going on the flat rate so okay you can take that but like this in the same manner in the bhajan raja everything is flat rate now nobody actually understanding nothing everything will go on everything is only one and the same only <laughs> all one and the same like this who is guru who is lagu nobody actually this kind of vichare they are having in that bhakti mr thakur all the time speaking each and every time that that you are thinking lagu as guru and guru as lagu in all both the darshan there is actually problem in that those who are those who are those who are actually acting as guru and are actually lagu their activities their bhav their whatever uh, activities are there by their activities we can understand that they are actually lagu each and every time prabhupada actually used to speak this point that i will be taking the shelter of that guru pad padma i'll be taking the shelter of that guru pad padma i just want to take shelter of that guru pad padma do uh, that guru who will he will be giving 100% mangal in my life i have, i will not be i don't want to take any partial mangal in my life. i am less interested to take partial mangal in my life those who are foolish they will be taking a partial mangal i want that it that my gurudev should give me 100% that that he should uh, protect me from this and he should arrange my mangal that's on to that guru pad padma i will be just uh, taking shelter 100% otherwise i don't want to take any kind of shelter on any material person 
there are will be lot of advisors in this material world and maybe there can be but uh, this kind of instructions i will not i don't want to take in my life my i don't have this kind of uh, desire to take their instructions in my life do that bhagwan that is who is that aradhya vastu who for or for everyone and and uh, my guru patman who is actually all the time just 24 hours he is thinking of that uh, lotus feet my gurudev all the time is there at the lotus feet of krishna he is just serving them this purna vastu this purna vastu that topmost complete vastu that seva that who is all the time doing 24/7 if we will be doing that seva of that complete vastu we will also inside our heart that satisfaction definitely gonna come inside our heart because we are actually just uh, doing the service of that complete vastu then dissatisfaction cannot come if we are actually doing complete seva that is the actual anand we are getting if we will be doing the seva of that complete vastu what is the actual uh, uh, reason for that what is the actual proof of that it the proof is that that there is actually no in there no jealousy is there inside my heart i am just feeling some kind of satisfaction inside my heart satisfaction means that i don't have any kind of jealousy of this material world if i'll be uh, just uh, regretting about bhajan then i could cannot go into this bhajan life so just be careful about this point i that if i am get is satisfied in bhajan that oh maharaj i have done lot of bhajan then you cannot go ahead in the bhajan at all so this kind of vichar is very important this vichar is very important i want to speak that the kind of material jealousy you have inside your heart there is no dissatisfaction inside your it means that you will be having that connection with that complete vastu and i am able to get in connection with that complete vastu so that poon vastu that kind of seva all the time which we are 24 but 20 source for 24 7 that seva is going is going on for that complete vastu that is called guru there are a lot of gurus in this material world someone actually is teaching us music someone is actually teaching us uh, uh, musical instruments uh, and some are actually teaching us tabla drums and uh, they, there can be guru for that and someone can maybe a guru of mathematics physics but these are all actually material gurus these kind of gurus uh, we don't have need to pay attention to these gurus because they cannot protect us at all from this material world they cannot protect us from this material bondage of maya they cannot protect us from the cycle of birth and that you you can understand now from 15 to 20 days i have just spoke on this point sat janun satyat pitana sasyas sat jananin sasyat doivarna tatsyat napatim na sasyat that guru is not guru though who cannot uh, protect me from the cycle of birth and death and who cannot protect me from death who that is not a guru that uh, friend is not my friend who can just uh, cannot protect me from death that father is not father who can just uh, cannot protect me from death who is mother that mother is not mother who that demigod is not demigod and that mother is not mother and that husband is not my husband who cannot protect me from my death that kind of when everyone has to face death definitely everyone has to face death everyone has to face death nobody can get protected from this nobody can get protected from this actual reality everyone has to face death everyone but those who have just getting the guru guru kripa and bhagavat kripa in their life that bhagavat tatva amrit they, they are actually tasting that for them there is no question of having word death is there in their life no word is no word death is there in their life they are actually all the time in their transcendental world realm all the time tasting the transcendental rasa they are he is man is actually mortal everyone actually each and every jiva will get die will be dead that everyone has to face this mortality immortality cannot come in the life of anyone only those who are following bhagavad dharma who if you are acting actually getting grip of bhagavad dharma then only it is possible otherwise it is not at all possible that for our those who have given us our nitya jeevan in each and every condition who is actually giving protection crores and crores of mothers and fathers they have given us birth 
आई हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट दैट बर्थ मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ टाइम बट माई गुरुदेव गुरुपाद पद्म कृपा दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रेमा वॉट आई एम गेटिंग फ्रॉम हिम इवन दिस काइंड ऑफ डेथ फीलिंग ऑफ डेथ ऑल्सो ही इज एक्चुअली गेटिंग मी आउट ऑफ दैट एंड ही इज गिविंग मी दैट टॉप मोस्ट नेक्टर ऑफ ट्रांसीडेंटल रसा टू मी थ्रो दैट आई कैन ब्रेक माई मटीरियल बॉन्डेज दिस काइंड ऑफ डार्कनेस ऑफ अज्ञान एंड Uh, and from this material knowledge everyone we have to protect because all the devotees who are actually are wanting we have to protect them otherwise those who are abhakt we are non devotees we can't do anything for them when this kind of question is and we are actually getting the realization that this material world is nothing then only we can take the actual shelter of the gurudev where in this material world we are actually getting after that knowledge and i am for technical college or some technical infrastructure i am going after that for just getting that knowledge this kind of knowledge after getting that knowledge there is no guarantee that then i will become a foolish De- definitely i have just i am ma pass i is get phd whatever he has done but whether he has just taken some computer training from foreign whatever he has done but still what is the actual value of this knowledge he has got i also know this point kind of thing that in the foreign university in the cambridge university those who are actually uh, each and every student who has just passed from that university especially at indian and is just coming back to india that he has just in the big big companies also have given them a big big offers to them that you can join our company and even you don't don't need to go that much far you just can come here and join my company that iit is there indian institute of Te- technology kharagpur nagpur is there whether raurkela you can go in those places those who those engineers who have all the scientists have just got passed for them each and every uh, job is where and uh, which place to very very genius scientists are already getting placed before only and they are giving them the actual offer you can just come to us and in india you can join us and can you we can give pay you this much so the question actually prabhupad want to speak here that this kind of realization very much uh, important prabhupad speaking maybe he that material education and knowledge he has done he has value but it can be done that he that he has done some foreign degree and some company going to offer some lucrative offer to you and very lucrative offer they are giving to you but this can also be done no that uh, after that you are coming and you are going in the house and you have getting the brain stroke and whatever this kind of lakhs and lakhs of rupees you have just came from the foreign country to take that knowledge material knowledge you have just came from taking the degree and now you are getting a brain stroke and now this condition has arisen that in this condition now you can't go to any company and uh, maybe 10 to 12 20 years it will take to just get recovered so i just want to speak that the company will definitely give you after after that no they will not at all give you they, they will not gonna give you any offer they will not at all give you any offer now so it all depends upon the dev everything is depend upon your luck what is your actual activities the previous sanskar you have and your karam phal everything the he has just learned a lot of music in his life that you can't even imagine that whole the material world is the full anand flow of anand is just giving to this material world but if he is getting some stroke or some other thing as just then now he is not at all able to do so he got paralysis he can't do any kind of musical instrument so whatever condition that material education we have in this material world each and every material education whatever uh, uh, instructions or knowledge i have just gained in my material life may what is actually material it has some link and after just uh, uh, if i can i can practically use that after uh, uh, taking that classes but bhakti is such a teaching that transcendental teaching that topmost uh, diamond in our life that if that if externally we are actually becoming foolish in an external swarup like shatkop you can so you have heard the name of him shatkop uh, shatkop actually externally he is uh, he is actually a uh, very bad he he don't have any feet he can't he just all the time one place he was just sitting there very keep quiet very quietly and nobody knows that he is actually a top most siddh mahatma nobody knows about him he is actually is useless his body is useless he can't even walk also shatkop 
Prabhupad also have written about him about on the Shatakop. So this Mahatma, so these Rishi Muni is topmost. Externally, they are actually anything can be done with them, but still, nothing is going on in their life. Their life is full of an untranscendental bliss because bhakti is the natural function of your soul. It cannot get destroyed by anyone. But other education and material only will get destroyed. And when you will get death, after death also, this kind of educational qualification, what you have done, this it is of no use at all. But still, bhakti is such a thing that you, in the whole life, you can just adapt it. You, you can in your whole life, you cannot uh, remove that from your life. And if you are not getting Siddhi in your Bhakti, then in the next birth, definitely from where you, the you, you can get opportunity from that point from where you have left your Bhakti. Whatever you have left from the previous birth, the, from there it will start again. So it means that each and every condition, this is, this is the actual Atma Dharma Vidya, this Atma Dharma Vidya in each and every condition of your love, this will definitely gonna get be useful in your life. In each and every birth, it will not get in vain at all. Nothing will happen at all. The, uh, the actual Satya, the actual truth, if we will not be taking us taking that in our life, Prabhupada speaking, if this, uh, in this material body, after getting that human birth, if getting that human birth, that ex absolute truth we cannot get into our life, we cannot realize that, then what is my consciousness? My consciousness will just get dropped. It will be coming so much dropped, then I will be getting into material condition again. Those who are actually, that my death is coming in front of me and those who cannot protect me from that, they are actually fraudy, they are actually all, uh, uh, they are not at all Guru who cannot protect me from that. That Guru who is actually protecting, who cannot control his disciple at all. And that disciple who is not at all accepting the instructions of Guru, he is not at all Shishya. He is not at all disciple. He is not at all any kind of Diksha. And that Guru who is actually just getting money, power and material enjoyment, he is actually giving ins giving inspiration to him. That is not at all Guru. I am not at all actually speaking lie to you. This is a practical thing. Guru Dev actually giving, giving him inspiration. You actually go to modeling. Your profession is modeling. You will get Mangal. He is actually not his dumb ass. He is not a Guru. Why actually that uh, he is actually taking him to modeling? That you, you can do that, you can do this, you can go to, you can do marriage in foreign, just let girl go with me. Like this, this is, he, he is acting as Guru. So you see that person who is actually using all my five Karmindriya, five Gamindriya, all his body, and he is actually giving him inspiration. That so that I can just get entangled in all these material things. He is actually a cheater. He is not fraud fraudster. He is not a Gurudev. A Gurudev. A one Guru. I am actually speaking truth in front of you. That from one ashram there is one child. And he used to love me a lot. In Vrindavan and here actually used to stay there. Previously he used to stay in Navadweep. I am actually speaking about him. He actually... His Gurudev actually is material. I don't want to speak his name because the it is actually the uh, it is actually for teachings. I don't want to speak anything uh, about anyone. So he is actually taking the ashray of some material guru. But his Gurudev actually is a Siddhatma. That is Guru of Guru. But what is happening? Okay, he is getting a name in the society. He has taken Diksha from him. He, after taking Diksha from him, he is a Guru. He is, he is Garud, he is not at all Guru, he cannot control that disciple. If he has something, realization, then only he can share it. No, he don't have any kind, he is actually empty-ended. So what he can give, okay, he has given him Diksha and Harinam. But after that, this boy, this child, this boy, he is actually boy of Assam. And uh, he actually seeing that in the temple, all foreigner ladies, foreigner ladies are actually coming in the mud. And he actually haven't seen them before because that is the actual thing. No, they haven't seen in their whole life this kind of atmosphere. 
that from where all actually their birth is getting and from where they are actually coming and they are speaking that uh, foreigner devotees are coming to him and uh, inside his heart some greediness came so whatever is there he that he is actually approaching one foreign lady and just marriage marrying that foreign lady and after getting married to that foreign lady what happened he is getting that two boys two child from him and he is just getting running from he she is from america that uh, girl and this boy also is uh, getting to the america and is taking one shop there and is just getting one uh, job there and is getting lot of money there and uh, there is one acharya there is one acharya he just went there he just uh, get uh, and he actually just making one kind of instructions to him that i actually just came for bhajan so what to do so this is my actual luck i am actually getting entangled in that and my um, i just want to make some money so i sh- i have my wife so he, like anything i can do my so acharya is speaking no 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 you you just take money <laughs> you just take money this kind of opportunity will not you will not at all get in your life you just uh, earn money very nice guru is you see so this kind of condition all actually giving inspiration in material things if someone actually is giving 25000 rupees mobile and someone actually is with some uh, uh, getting married with some girl so this kind of inspiration this kind of fraudsters they are giving so whatever the actual instructions of guru they are actually doing gulami of the shishya to give mantra to the prostitute this kind of actual condition is going on they are becoming servant of disciples so they are actually just inspiring me materially in this material world they are just want to kick me into this hell they are actually not not at all guru they are actually cheater those who are actually my material indriya whatever they are actually doing a different kind of uh, atyachar on me if we, i can just get free from that bondage of my material sense organ and can protect me from those material sense organs and from that imminent danger of death he can protect me from that death that who can give me that realization of transcendental rasa inside my heart and he can just give me that instruction to do how to do hari bhajan that is actually gurudev that gurudev only i will be just taking me in my life birth after birth each and every month each and every second i will be just accepting that fra- fraction of second before that also i will be taking the vandana on to the lotus feet of that guru pad padma this is the actual vichar of me if this i this is happening then definitely i will be getting out of this material bondage definitely that material bondage i will be getting definitely be getting out of that material bondage of this there is no question about that definitely i will be getting out of the, this kind of guru dev i want in my life i don't want any kind of market guru in my life who is from in market who is just like selling those who have just got the who will be i was actually ch- talking about the prajalp of uh, shilarup goswami pad in ubadesh amrit this actually this atya i have already just discussed atya har i have already discussed prayas already efforts the and prajalp actually i was discussing previously and up till this point we have just uh, came that uh, shlok i have started with today what is the actual meaning of that of to that pathway that pathway that our previous uh, mahajans previous guru work those who are actually going through that pathway that all those sadhus uh, without any uh, kind of uh, uh, difficulty slowly steadily they are actually going to that pathway have just uh, reached that uh, target of krishna prema that kind of uh, pathway that kind of uh, that kind of not greediness or jealousy should be there for that because i am actually just following that shrot parampara so that kind of path where those mahajans have already gone and have just reached their target by following that that without they have without any tension they have just reached that there is no kind of jealousy there is no kind of tension in that pathway that kind of santap varjita that kind of pathway which is always open for me i just need to follow that in order to get my target 
those who are always all shrey sadaks all so shrey sadaks that shrey sadan pantha that shrey sadan pathway that kind of uh, pathway i just need to follow that that is my actual target to follow up till all actually they are actually having this kind of adhikar on this pathway i just need to follow that A separate pathway i can't follow at all so this pathway that pantha shrot pantha what gurudev has told this kind of pathway i cannot leave and this pathway i cannot leave and i cannot take the other pathway at all it is not at all uh, uh, good the all the mahajans that according to the mahajans that approved pathway that according to the mahajans that approved it means that under the anugatya of mahajans that kind of pathway that kind of prajalp whatever is there we just need to quit because by doing the anugatya of mahajans if i am actually doing naam sankirtan and doing pravachan and everything then this will not definitely uh, not a come in the category of prajal because it is out of prajal this bhagwan in order to satisfy bhagwan and guru vishnu it is done this is the actual instruction of gurudev in order to just accepting the instruction of gurudev i have done it i am not doing on my own i actually am doing anugatya of my gurudev so under the anugatya of mahajans whatever uh, uh, rules and regulations you are following this is not in the category of prajalp in opposite that uh, under the anugatya of mahajans whatever uh, talking whatever instructions are going hari katha kirtan is going on they are all actually respectful and they are respectable and acceptable in my life if he will not be doing then definitely he will fall down from his position that all our mahajans and all our guru varg that hari bhakti sadak that uh, in order to do hari bhakta hari bhakti hari karta hari kata kirtan ishta goshti or actually they have just respected that kind of instructions this kind of ishta goshti is very much important in our life <coughs> but there is one point in that i have already told you yesterday that rishi mati radhanani she is actually just speaking to one black bee uh, in order in front of that black bee shrimati radharani speaking to that black bee that everything kind of upajalp prajalp samijalp these are actually very much uh, like a diamond these are actually very rare to hear this uh, normal person cannot understand this kind of uh, topmost krishna prema bhav that are already there in the brahmar gita radharani speaking to that black bee and in this material world that kind of prajalp that is very much dangerous that prajalp which is very dangerous for me that kind of prajalp it is of so much of categorized it is of so much types that vritha kalp that just useless useless a sitting idol and you are doing next to nothing you can see in calcutta in all the four directions in bengal etc especially there it's there there at the at the pathway all actually are taking tea there and they have no work at all and they are just speaking all useless talkings they are speaking all useless there is they have no work at all they are only sitting doing next to nothing they don't want anything just taking bd and just taking tea that's it and that's just lose your time that's it vritha galp and after that vritha galp means that different different kind just uh, going to your neighborhood all actually wasting your time in that you will not be getting anything in your life for that vitark means that uh, there you are actually just uh, arguing on some point and after that what he has done some political party has done what what chief minister has done each and everything they are actually this kind of actually discussion is going on so they are he is he is not sadhu he is doing this kind of thing so this kind of discussion going on there like they all useless <coughs> some altercation is there vitar comes that they are actually just arguing on a special uh, uh, arguing on a special point 
एंड बाद अनुबाद में जस्ट लाइक यूजलेस टॉकिंग दे आर डूइंग जस्ट फाइटिंग जस्ट बी आर गोइंग ऑन सम फाइटिंग ऑन सम इश्यूज दैट्स इट परदोष इन ऑर्डर टू रेक्टिफाई द परदोष दैट इन अदर्स यू नो ही हैज़ डन दिस पॉइंट ऑफ काइंड ऑफ थिंग दिस काइंड ऑफ डिस्कशन दे आर पर चर्चा दे आर एक्चुअली डूइंग परदोष अनुसंधान परदोष अनुसंधान मीन्स दैट इन अदर्स दिस काइंड ऑफ फॉल्ट दे आर फाइंडिंग इन अदर्स दे आर एक्चुअली फाइंडिंग फॉल्ट इन अदर्स they are actually finding faults in that is paradosh anusandhan and and the hundredth one is mritha jalpana mritha jalpana means that he is baseless baseless he is niradhar whatever he is talking that he is actually thinking what is he is dreaming of and is doing some planning that it is of no use it is baseless it is uh, all dream world sadhu ninda that is also comes in the category of prajalp gram katha that all actually it is coming in the category of prajalp only each one and one point one or two examples i'll be giving for you so that because it is very in depth analysis of this so it's very difficult to understand just by speaking useless talking and just by uh, joking with anyway it is strictly prohibited in the way of bhakti in the way of bhakti that kind of uh, useless talking baseless talkings and uh, just speaking rubbish material things it is strictly prohibited because those who are in actual bhakti those who are all the time doing actual bhakti sadhan they are actually doing that they are not at all uh, actually uh, they don't want to waste their time at all they don't want to waste their time in useless things they all the time that they want to hear hari katha kirtan from the lotus mouth of pure guru vaishnava and they just want to get them busy in that only and sadhu sang mein that in and in sadhu sang that in nirjan sang it means sadhu sang means nirjan sang that they want to do hari naam under in association of sadhu sang so all devotees what they are doing one baba ek baba one baba if actually speaking actually getting association with other baba then in between no, both the babas they, they will be actually speaking about bhagwan only they will be discussing about bhagwan only why because inside their heart there is only one uh, kind of thing that how to satisfy the material sense organs of krishna how to satisfy krishna that my life is for the uh, service of krishna and they are actually just be getting uh, association with each other and they will be just respecting each other and just be discussing krishna katha with each other and uh, krishna actually speaking that they will be just discussing about me and all the time they will be about my topics they will be discussing with each other they will be each and each and each other they will be discussing with each other about my topics and how to satisfy me they will be discussing that they will be satisfying each other by just discussing my topics gita mein ye bhi bataya in gita also it is written satam kirtayantu maan jatam tascha dira pratha namas santascha maan bhaktya nitya yukta upasate isi prakar se by this only like slowly steadily i have already told in the kirtan in the second shloka i have told bhakti sadak those who are doing actually bhakti sadhan bhakti sadak who are doing bhakti sadhan that they should get the anushilan of ananya bhakti they should not uh, use uh, useless talking they should not do they should not do useless talking at all if if they are that uh, bahirmukh people uh, they are actually just uh, day and night they are actually just using to do useless talking then definitely rup goswami path they are not at all actually they are going against the instructions of rup goswami path lot of sadhus are there in their life that newspaper they they have this kind of uh, manners habits of just 
<coughs> just habits of just uh, listening to the news of tv radio this kind of habits they are getting in their life they don't want to quit or leave those habits they are actually getting habituated to just listen to those all this but prabhupada actually speaking strictly prohibiting this that no sanyasi sadhu they will not at all reading newspaper why because in the newspaper lot of kind of arguments and this useless talkings are there in that because in newspaper that whatever news is there in the newspaper they are actually so much so much uh, how much it is truth and how it is false nobody knows bhakti sadhak bhakti sadhak in order for just to read sports news or whatever other newspapers are there or or even just by hearing other sambad other news it is strictly prohibited <coughs> so all this kind of vritha it is actually all coming in the form of prajalp that bhakti sadhak those who are actually doing bhakti for them in order to just read this news keep newspaper etc it is strictly prohibited it is strictly prohibited to read new, read newspaper for them so those vishuddh bhakt vishuddh devotees so for those vishuddh devotees if uh, someone actually just it is actually just uh, there in the some newspaper about said vishuddh uh, devotee then definitely you just need to read that because it is related to krishna seva there is actually no <coughs> fault in that but if the newspaper actually newspaper parcel they will be just uh, don't want to actually print those aprakrit news they always want that very hot and material news should hot cake like hot cake that hot news should be there that cold news should not come in the newspaper at all in order to just earn money that's it that we should devote is where actually it will be there in the newspaper that prabhupad news has come prabhupad uh, uh, instructions are coming in newspaper no not at all all material news are coming that gram that uh, those who are actually material behavior ha- having material behavior each and every person having material behavior they are actually taking tobacco bd and they are actually just taking cigarettes and uh, they are actually getting uh, material talking with those material people they it is actually strictly prohibited to do all this in shrimad bhagwat ji mahaparan also about puranjan it is written shri narad muni narad ji has just told about this narad ji has told about the puranjan story that this puranjan just by reading about the story of puranjan what is the actual life what is the actual life each and everything you can understand in your life by that after that vitark is also is also under prajalp vitark is against bhakti vitark this kind of word it is actually just against bhakti khilaf it is against bhakti jo naye those jaise like jo naye paath karta hai those who are just reading nyay they are actually just uh, fighting with each other that mayavadi all the time they just want to get into argument all the time so these are actually all bahirmukh they all actually doing vitark they are doing nothing next to nothing apart from argument by this vitark by this vitark nobody can there is no solution at all suppose you can think some on some topics you can suppose on some topics there some discussion is going on it means that some vitark is going on in that and some kind of discussion is it will all the time going on in this we will be just losing our own power and there is no not at all any kind of uh, advantage we will get and our heart will just become unstable when you will be just going arg doing argument there is actually no use of doing argument but you will be just making yourself unstable and you will become restless inside your heart there is no result in that at all by that that's why 
in mahabharat also this kind of uh, kind of discussion is coming in that also tarko apadishtu shatayo bivinya na asur na somuni rajasa matam na bhinna dharma sudattam neko guhaya mahayano yeno gatu samanta ar shastram e and in the shastras also it is written in the kathopanishad is written this this kind of top most secret hidden siddhant what is there written that is is actually free from uh, argument that atma tatva in this argument is not at all cannot stand it argument will not stand on to the platform of uh, atma tatva the jeevas that kind of top most pure uh, intellect that pure intellect means that uh, the atma what they have this kind of atma vichar is there inside them that for jivas in that kind of subuddhi top most pure intellect that kind of actual natural intellect which is actually natural which is swabhavik inside uh, each and every jiva because jivatma he is actually is nitya anandamay and is nitya nitya anandamay and nitya prakash mein but this kind of natural dharma this he is actually just uh, getting uh, hidden by maya just by getting curtailed by maya this kind of diamond this kind of diamond actually and in the other uh, regions in bhagavatam also it is written in the seventh canto it is written this pralad mar actually speaking in seventh canto this already is there and on the other place also in bhagavad ji it is written this satimati is there this satimati i have already this picking this point up because that this uh, satimati is there this is actually natural a satimati this is abnormal satimati this is this is the actual vritti of atma natural function of the soul of the atma when this kind of vitark that person will be taking argument in his life because in the pathway of bhagavad vikti this argument logical interpretation is strictly prohibited up till this point also mahaprabhu ji has uh, hasn't taken any kind of argument you have on already under dikvijay pandit i'll give you one two two example so that you can feel good that dikvijay pandit that case of kashmiri in navadvip dham he has just came there and each and every person is speaking that someone is there actually you can do some logical interpretation with me or otherwise you will get defected or give me that victory uh, uh, that he is just getting the victory title from him but mahaprabhu not giving him even a single argument to him mahaprabhu with a very humble mood he is speaking with him that i have already heard your name you are actually top most pandit i have already heard your name and you are getting the kripa of saraswati you are the actual son of saraswati so i actually want to hear something from your lotus mouth mahaprabhu actually not at all speaking any kind of argument he is automatically coming to mahaprabhu mahaprabhu hasn't called him also he already automatically coming to mahaprabhu mahaprabhu speaking that i have heard that you are a very big pandit and i just want to hear something from you what you want to hear what you can understand huh he speaking i can't understand i have just heard your name i you are actually just uh, giving i am just giving uh, some learning to the vyakaran of to the out child i actually i also don't understand vyakaran but still my name i already uh, uh, heard your name that you actually just giving uh, vyakaran uh, uh study to the child so just uh, give me some uh, pandatya maybe i can uh, that i just that kind of desire i am getting to hear your panditya then he is actually speaking that shlok one shlok actually he is speaking about ganga glorification of ganga mahaprabhu actually not at all speak, giving any one argument he is speaking that uh, to digvijay pandit that like this just like a cyclone 
just like cyclone he is actually speaking stotras and mahaprabhu is speaking that you have so much uh, pandite you have that nobody is there in this whole material world who can just speak like that okay just uh, give you one uh, actually the actual uh, vyakhya of one shloka what shloka you want you just let me know what what shloka you want from me i am just like air speaking those shlok like cyclone i am speaking all those shlokas so okay so which shloka i want oh this shloka you actually you just speak what do you actually the actual uh, glorification of ganga you have just told me in front of me that actual glorification of ganga you have told me in front of me out of that one shlok you just mahaprabhu told one shlok out of that and digvijay pandit just become very mad how actually you know i am just like air like cyclone i am speaking shlok at act actually is like this that you have that you have got the you got the you are the son of saraswati so you know actually everything you can speak like wind but somebody can get this kind of uh, thing also know that maybe he can just uh, hear and learn quickly that after that mahaprabhu didn't giving any kind of argument then what kind of fault is there in this shlok ha huh? what kind of shlok what kind of characteristic and what kind of fault is there is you don't know anything about what i am speaking you are just uh, just giving study to the child actually i know i am just don't nothing that's why i am just taking shelter at your lotus feet so you give me the what kind of actual no kind of fault is there that alankar anupras everything is there it is out of your knowledge you can't understand then mahaprabhu speaking actually actually it also out, out of my mind i don't know you have heard alankar no no uh, maybe i have just heard a bit of alankar mahaprabhu speaking to digvijay he is just actually speaking to mahaprabhu you have heard alankar mahaprabhu speaking that i have haven't uh, learned alankar but i have just in the way of alankar i have just uh, heard a bit of alankar and some person actually just taught me some alankar and what i have heard in alankar in that by just hearing that that this kind of shloka what you are speaking that anupras on alankar what you are doing in this shloka that alankar you are actually using here it is some fault is there ha huh? so fault is there how can it be possible you tell me where the fault is then if you are not at all feeling uh, bad then definitely i am going to give you this kind of uh, thing proof that here some fault is there what you are actually speaking alankar here but here actually some fault is there like where where is the fault you tell me like you told that uh, that bab bhavanokram fault is there there punavritti dosh is there there are four faults are there what mahaprabhu had told him and mahaprabhu speaking that slowly steadily i'll be doing uh, the vichar there's lot of faults are there but main four faults are there like punavritti dosh that like you have just spoke bhavani bharta this bhavani bharta what you have just used this word here in this there is some fault is there where is the fault here are maharaj that bhavani just by speaking bhavani we can understand that automatically with that bhavani means bhav that is the actual wife of shankar you are actually speaking bhavani bharta bhavai speaking bhavani bharta it means it looks like that bhavani is the actual wife of shankar she is the wife of shankar means that gauri that it is a name of devi that parvati and you are speaking bhavani and you are bhavani bharta it looks like there is a other some other bhavani some different swami is there apart from other swami there is that different swami is there so i he actually become very uh, bhavani bharta it, there is no use of speaking bhavani bharta just by speaking bhavani that is actually the wife of shankar it is not at all of no use to speaking this word so that's why mahaprabhu not at all arguing with him mahaprabhu actually speaking not at all speaking in a single word also wherever whether he was in kashava kashi varanasi wherever he just went where in the south india wherever mahaprabhu went you can just see very uh, noticeably that mahaprabhu hasn't done any kind of argument with anyone with full prema and with full vinamra bhav he is actually just uh, just uh, cut his uh, argument and he has just established one siddhant vichar in front of him and uh, just get pratishtit in bhakti this is the actually so much capacity mahaprabhu has wherever he went he has just this is the actual rules whether going to varanasi he is not at all doing any, any kind of argument are 
यू आर एक्चुअली सांप्रदायिक सन्यासी एंड यू आर एक्चुअली फ्रॉम आर ओन संप्रदाय यू आर टेंटी सन्यासी एंड ही इज एक्चुअली थिंक मायावादी थिंकिंग दैट ही इज एक्चुअली ही इज आर मायावादी गॉड ब्रदर सो महाप्रभु बिकॉज दे आर थिंकिंग दैट ही इज फ्रॉम आवर संप्रदाय ओनली ही हेज टेकन सन्यास ही इज फ्रॉम द संकर संप्रदाय सन्यास ही हेज टेकन ही हेज टेकन फ्रॉम केशव भारती सो ही सेट दैट ओके इन वाराणसी हाउ मच टाइम यू हैव जस्ट स्टेड हेयर दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली ऑल योर दिस इज ऑल योर्स ओनली एंड इट यू हैवन कम टू आर ओन गोष्टी एंड पीपल आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट यू आर नॉट एट ऑल कमिंग टू अस एंड hearing vedanti this is your own sampradaya only why you are not coming to us why you are not coming to the goshti there are lot of news actually spreading you are doing sankirtan why actually you are doing sankirtan you are not at all hearing vedant mahabhu actually with full humble mood speaking you see that guru ji has already told me that i am foolish number 1 Gurudev see so shown have seen in me that you don't have any kind of adhikar in vedant you do you do naam sankirtan that's it hare krishna maha mantra you do that's it that's why i'm speaking by my own will i am not at all dancing it is just by actually the actual instruction of gurudev i am following that just by that slowly steadily that whole vichar mahaprabhu has just changed that ट्रांसफॉर्म हिज होल विचार होल मायावाद विचार ही जस्ट फ्रॉम अप्रूटेड फ्रॉम द रूट बट स्टिल ही हैजेंट आर्ग्यूड विद हिम विद फुल हम्बल मूड ही हैज डन यू कैन सी इन वृंदावन वैन सनातन को स्वामी पाद एंड रूप को स्वामी पाद दैट वेरी दिग्विजय पंडी हैज कस केम टू हिम आई हैव ऑलरेडी जस्ट हर्ट दिस पॉइंट दैट वेरी टॉप मोस्ट पंडी जस्ट केम टू हिम दे आर एक्चुअली ऑल द टाइम गेटिंग इन टू माई आर्ग्यूंग बूट Uh, so Nathan was I'm speaking I'm very very small sadhu I don't know anything I am actually foolish so you do I'll I'll write okay you are victory so Nathan Goswami has just written that you are a victory okay victory note he has written that I am giving you this victory uh, letter to you because they don't want that they should argue with anyone it is against bhakti this kind of argument so we will not go for that sarvam bhattacharya ji also after that just by slowly doing argument with mahaprabhu slowly steadily when he's got the grip of mahaprabhu then he can understand the he just got transformed and in front of mahaprabhu he speaking that previously i was previously just like a fox i was speaking hello 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 but now actually i just want to speak krishna naam in varanasi that kind of argument was already going on and after that they their siddhant is that parmarth vichar gelo just all useless arguments just by doing that that all a kind of much that everything will come in your heart by speaking all useless siddhant so this all will go on there is actually no limit for that so those who are actually bhakti sadhak those who are actually doing bhakti those persons that bhagavat tatva or those bhagavat character if they will be doing the shravan kirtan of that and they will be just doing the shravan kirtan of bhagwan then slowly steadily that kind of they can get out of that uh, they can just get into that nitya jagat and those who are doing argument all the time they are slowly steadily they will be just destroying their life they will they don't have anything to do they don't have anything to do apart from that they will be just destroying their life and par charcha that uh, this it is coming in the form of prajal this par charcha that it is actually strictly against bhakti par charcha and uh, just just discussing about they just uh, it means that you that himself he is thinking 
you are actually thinking that i am a very big person big personality you want to show yourself that you are a very big personality that's why you are doing uh, this some persons actually with their from their natural mood they are actually having that kind of videsh against bhav that they are taking the uh, character of and characteristics of other person they, are, they will be arguing on that only by this this those who are actually all the time busy in this kind of uh, vishay their heart their heart their chitta vritti they cannot get uh, the krishna path padma at all that's why par charcha we need to in every condition you just need to quit that leave that and to do bhakti sadhan it is very much important lekin but ye bhakti but this bhakti sadhan in order to do that lot of uh, un- lot of uh, things are there in that in that it seems that some par charcha is going on but there is actually no dosh in that that you can see in bhagavatam also in ajamil ubakhyan you can see a lot of things in that lot of things are there in bhagavatam lot of things are there in bhagavatam lot of prasang are there in the bhagavatam in bhagavad ji mahapuran it is coming it looks like that this is par charcha but this is not at all par charcha why because by this charcha by what he they are speaking we just need to take a moral out of that but this kind of uh, speaking what they are doing so uh, we should have to take some moral guru vaishnav in order to just uh, maintain us externally they are uh, actually just uh, talking with others but this is not at all external talkings at all this is not at all material talkings why because their talkings are not at all mat- on material platform their talkings is at transcendental actually there is no kind of jealousy or fighting with anyone because they are doing a, this is they are doing talking this is just kind one kind of teaching just in the form of moral they are just giving us this you see what kind of you see what ramchandra puri has done you see that and uh, amog that sarbam bhattacharya uh, son in law that uh, amog that is a uh, son in law of uh, sarbam bhattacharya what he has done that he is actually just finding fault in mahaprabhu all these kind of talkings balbhadr bhattacharya has so much faults ego you see it is krishna das kaviraj goswami also speaking so much faults ego he has he is actually speaking this that he is speaking that i have just written one new bhagavat uh, uh, commentary on bhagavatam because i i will not accept the commentary of shridhar swami but there is actually lot of fault in that mahaprabhu speaking what what you are speaking ha huh? so, uh, the bal uh, ballavachare what you are speaking ha huh? you don't want to uh, understand what sridhar swami pad speaking mahaprabhu speaking those who are actually not accepting his own husband or swami he is just like a prostitute means sridhar swami you are actually rejecting him and you they are actually a pros you are actually not at all uh, accepting your own husband on swami sridhar swami pad so this actually mahaprabhu actually doing this kind of uh, talking to him but this is not fault there is any no fault in that at all mahaprabhu actually in reverse actually speaking uh, foul words to him why because in order that he should rectify himself because this kind of paracharcha it is in order to save him in order to protect him from aparad in order to uh, rectify his aparad so lot of paracharcha this kind of actually going on and uh, guru vaishnav in prabhupad prabhupad also speaking in vaishnav ke about uh, guru vaishnav that guru vaishnav sometimes they are actually speaking about someone it looks like but it is not at all actually external material talkings they are actually speaking but they will not be uh, having any kind of faults in them because they don't have any kind of interest in that they actually want to just uh, protect us from all this you see the case of ajamil what he has done what he has done he has just uh, taken a very nice uh, uh, and he has just uh, got association with one prostitute so this actually this is what he has speak and there is no fault in it what guru vishnu speaking the like examples like this to us there is no fault in that so this par charcha like gokaran ji maharaj has just uh, went to to uh, to attend all the tirthas in this uh, Uh, to attend all the tirthas because here atmadev his son actually is there dundukari 
he is just like a uh, doing uh, all kind of association of uh, prostitute and drinking all wine and drinking everything he is doing and by that in bhagavat mahatma it is already written about this it seems that it is just kind of external talking but it is not at all external talking at all prabhupad speaking this is not all par charcha prabhupad speaking guru vishnu sometimes they are actually speaking of someone else and they will not be finding and you should not any find any fault in them why because they will not be having any fault while speaking of others because by doing this kind of par charcha he wants to protect us from all this he they actually want to speak that you see you see what they are doing ha huh? you notice that after sanyas they taking sanya you will also do that no this is not at all actually finding fault this is not at all jealousy this is just to rectify our present situation just to protect us from the material fallen fallen condition so in total total we just need if we actually want to quit parcharcha completely then whatever this this is called banwas means that pure guru vaishnav by associating with them all the time doing hari katha kirtan that is called actual banwas and the other meaning if you want to take that that just to go to the forest where there is no one and i will be doing bhajan there is actually no chance of doing actual bhajan but inside his heart slowly steadily inside his heart slowly steadily if he will be doing that this is also one kind of chattering what is going inside his uh, heart it seems that externally is not talking to anyone but this is called parcharcha because he is talking inside his heart this is also so all those bhakti sadaks the grah the grah tyagi and uh, grahi those who are grah tyagi those who are re- re- coming in renounced order they for them any kind of uh, vishay they are actually getting into material things whatever efforts they are making it is not for material uh, opulence and material happiness whatever efforts they are doing in order to maintain their life so it means that their life is very smooth their life should be very smooth if they are not at all putting any kind of external efforts to maintain their life extra efforts definitely they will be uh, out of the material uh, things that's why for him what kind of parcharcha he is doing it can definitely get stopped all kind of parcharcha external talkings but those who have householders he has to maintain his life he has to collect money for his wife children and relatives and he has to maintain his uh, all relatives and he has to collect money and just uh, save money also so in this relation that par charcha whatever this kind of wish that it it totally it cannot get cut maybe sometimes you can cut it very small very slightly that par charcha will definitely be there this par charcha absolutely you cannot uh, cut that how you can cut that absolutely it is not at all well because he is actually living with all the relatives his friendship friends will also come all his uh, f- friends family f- everyone will come and in order to collect the money he just need to associate with others also so totally he cannot cut that par charcha definitely par charcha will be done unknowingly or unknowingly both so for these people for these people there is one uh, actually way for them if they actually making their own uh, sansar as uh, krishna sansar then it is very all happiness will come on them bestow not bestowed on them this actually upadesh here that krishna sansar you just need to do the actual sansar of you are actually there is no false ego that you are doing sansar that all your uh, children wife and all whatever house is there it's all of krishna so if you are doing krishna sansar it means like shivanand sen has done bhakti vinod thakur has done shivas pandit has done all them all of them they are uh, actually are householders but their household household life is for krishna happiness so when you are doing krishna sansar then automatically false ego is gone out of just without any attachment to that you have to do krishna sansar jeeva daya means that in order to be very merciful on all the jeevas that uh, to give whatever that bhagwat uh, bhagwat bhajan what is related to that you just need to show them that pathway 
that is the actual merciful mercy on all the jeevas so that they can understand about bhakti what is actually bhakti they can understand that concept so that is called jeevadaya krishna naam that krishna naam he has to do all the time so in krishna sansar that if he will get established in that in the krishna sansar if he is get getting established in that then there is actually no fault in that each and every object he will be just offering it to on the lotus feet of krishna and he will be just diverting it and attaching it towards krishna directly and whatever material things he is doing but he is actually just connecting it with krishna so there is no fault in that so whatever you are doing it for krishna maybe for very slightly some paracharcha you have to do for krishna so then it also it is without any sinful activities bhagwan shri krishna himself speaking this point bhagwan shri krishna himself speaking this point that that whatever you uh, sinful activity also you are doing that will actually will be counted in dharma whatever you have done for me whatever material things you have uh, done externally which is material but inevitably if it is actually connected with me then whatever you have done then will also be without any sinful activity because it is actually related with krishna and no kind of dosh or fault can be there in that the one example i will give you so that you can understand because i'll be speaking more than it will not be good like the case one baba ji maharaj in navadweep he i will just speak one story about him in navadweep one baba ji maharaj was there he used to stay there and and in kulya navadweep that shri vishnu priyapal vishnu priyapal labdas baba ji maharaj is there he is actually a householder of vishnu but he is a renounced order and he is very very famous ये दैट श्री चैतन्य दास बाबा जी महाराज श्री चैतन्य दास बाबा जी महाराज दैट श्री विष्णु श्री विष्णु प्रिय बल्लभ बल्लभ दास बाबा जी महाराज ही यूज टू डू लॉट ऑफ श्रद्धा फॉर ऑन टू हिम एंड एंड ही यूज टू जस्ट सी हिम विथ फुल रिस्पेक्टफुल आईज बट इन नवद्वीप दैट ऑल अदर पीपल ऑफ नवद्वीप दैट विष्णु प्रिय बल्लभ दास बाबा जी महाराज दे आर एक्चुअली ऑल यूज टू वेरी they become very unhappy with him they actually used to have very bad eyes on him why because vishnu das balla baba ji maharaj almost almost daily he used to from kulya to krishna nagar he used to go to the court he used to do you know the court no he used to go to the court and he used to about he used to give all the land property papers there he used to go in order to just file one case and shila bhakti vinod thakur shila bhakti vinod thakur that she, he was in shri rampur at that time and uh, there is one shri rampur in navadweep also in navadweep just uh, close to rail and after rail gate crossing there is shri rampur there is one way so which shri rampur you are speaking the, and i have already uh, heard that bhakti vinod thakur actually has just got transferred to shri rampur that shri rampur is in uh, uh, what shri rampur now he is talking so whatever is there maybe bhakti vinod thakur at that time uh, was posted uh, to shri rampur he was posted to shri rampur means at hugli he was at shri rampur and uh, after some times there are actually some people just came in front of bhakti vinod thakur some people came and just uh, uh, speaking uh, bad about uh, or about uh, him because they don't and they know that bhakti vinod thakur is a very uh, top most devotee and he is very uh, he is district magistrate magistrate so that's why all these people actually went to him all together and just want to file one case in front of bhakti vinod thakur and speaking just by example you will just understand what is actually bhakti by this example and how each and every object you have to just get connected it with the krishna and you have to just get diverted it towards bhakti like keshav goswami maharaj shridhar goswami maharaj they are opponent party after prabhupad actually leaving body after the opponent party this uh, in that they have just uh, went to the court case they have just went to the court and filed one case when they just go to the court and just filed one case in 
they have just converted into bhakti they have so much power you see just to go in the court just to speak there that all to uh, give all the documents all actually for them it is bhakti for them and for us in uh, just to speak uh, hare krishna hare krishna just in one place we are speaking this maha mantra this we cannot do that in one place this uh, mahapurush has so much capacity that in that police case court, court case also they can convert it into bhakti they have so much power so much power they have so this baba ji maharaj actually they this vishnu das bal baba ji maharaj they actually just become angry on them and just just went to bhakti vinod thakur all the people and they are speaking to bhakti vinod thakur uh, all together they are speaking that you see he actually i we have just want to speak one file one case against him in navadvip ban baba ji maharaj his name is vishnu das baba ji maharaj he don't have any kind of bhajan no bhajan he has he is actually no bhajan he has actually uh, daily he used to go from kuliyagram to the krishna nagar i went to the court and just uh, filing one case in navadvip here and there and he is just uh, Uh, what about the land property and find this that he is actually just going there and filing case he has no bhajan at all ha huh? no bhajan he has they are speaking for the vaishnav what kind of uh, actual things are there just to go to the court case uh, is it good to go to the police station and court bhakti vinod thakur then speaking bhakti vinod thakur speaking that vishnu priya vallabh das baba ji maharaj he is a very topmost devotee ha huh? he is a topmost devotee how possible actually his be- by just seeing his behavior i am just having lot of uh, feeling happiness bhakti mata guru speaking that whatever you are filing case against him that vishnu priya vallabh das baba ji maharaj i am very much happy on him why because he cannot actually bear that some sadhu some mahatma he is just coming in the wish of sanyasi and baba ji what they are doing they are actually going getting association with the video and they are just taking the land property of one temple or they are just uh, just be uh, thefting or robbing one temple so he actually he ca- cannot uh, bear that so that's why he is actually going this baba ji mar cannot uh, bear that so that's why he is actually just go filing one case in the court so i will be just uh, uh, want to glorify him why why you because he is the actual vaishnav he is actual vaishnav because he cannot uh, bear that they are actually doing bhajan all they are actually going against uh, bhakti and this is actually the some video is there and he is actually video he is actually just taking her respect and taking her uh, uh, money etc so that's why he is going to the court shriman mahaprabhu bhakti vinod thakur speaking that shriman mahaprabhu is uh, that when prem dharma that bimal prem dharma ap- apart from that this kind of uh, stain that scandal who are all foolish people they are they just need to rem- in order to remove that baba ji maharaj daily used to go to the court it's very good he is actually a sadhu this is the actual role of a vaishnav what is the actual role of vaishnav the actual role of the vaishnav in order to satisfy bhagwan and so that he is the bhakti raja some robber theft some uh, kapat some foolish person theft should not come in the bhajan raja and he is just contaminating the whole bhajan raja so he is actually just uh, taking all the instructions of mahaprabhu externally because baba ji maharaj is not at all going for himself he don't need anything for him he is actually just asking and taking food from others he is actually just in order to protect uh, hari bhajan and Bh- bhagwan's vastu he is doing that so whatever this uh, court case is there this is such a so much big sadhu that this this kind of court case also he just converted into bhakti and actually you are actually just, just speaking about wrong about thing i am very much happy for him why because this chatanya das baba ji maharaj jay chatanya das jay prasiddh chatanya das baba ji maharaj he is also he that shri vishnu priya ballabh das baba ji maharaj he is actually used to see with very shraddha my eyes and i am also very happy with him and i am loving him why because in the bhakti raj whosoever is there what to do it's not like that you just don't need to if you will not be taking any action this kind of jar is not at god each and every person of the samaj if he is doing wrong things then we need to stop that are whatever he wants to so let 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 him go to water what we can do then it means that you are actually for your own sampradaya you don't have any kind of love for that 
फॉर योर ओन संप्रदाय यू डोंट हैव एनी काइंड ऑफ लव फॉर अर फॉर योर गुरु वर्ग फॉर योर श्रोत पंथा हु इन दिस लाइफ ही हैज नो काइंड ऑफ लव फॉर देम देन वॉट ही इज अ साधु है वेदर हु वॉट्स एवर ही कैन डू ही कैन डू प्रवचन ही कैन डू हरी नाम हरी कीर्तन वॉट एवर ही विल डू बट ही कांट बी अ साधु एट ऑल सो यू सी दिस बाबा जी महाराज सो मच कैपेसिटी ही हैज दैट ऑल द पीपल एक्चुअली टेकिंग देयर ओन ओन विषय एंड जस्ट कमिंग टू द कोर्ट बट गोर जस्ट बाबा जी महाराज टेकिंग द विमल धर्म ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु इन ऑर्डर टू प्रोटेक्ट दैट इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट रिमूव दैट स्कैंडल वॉट एक्चुअली दैट स्टेन ऑफ स्कैंडल इज गोइंग ऑन द महाप्रभु इंस्ट्रक्शन बाबा जी महाराज इज जस्ट मेकिंग द एफर्ट्स टू जस्ट रिमूव दैट दैट इज एक्चुअली साधन साधे तत्व फॉर दैम सो इन ऑर्डर टू गो टू द कोर्ट एंड जस्ट टू रिमूव दिस काइंड ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इज ऑल्सो वन भक्ति फॉर बाबा जी महाराज सो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट वॉट आई एम स्पीकिंग so that vishya karya which is actually just getting connected with krishna in that there is actually no fault in that because bhagwan the bhagwan actually used to speak on his own this point and then guru ji actually speaking to shishya he is actually speaking to his shishya that you see what he has done he has taken sanyas and he has gone to here and he is actually doing like that oh my god oh my god you see you just be careful so he is actually just speaking to the disciples in order to just giving them the moral that just want to give them the actual samadhan if someone actually doing some paracharcha if we have to do some external talking then it is not a fault at all for guru vaishnav sukadev ko swami pad he is he is not at all paramashrishth he is actually paramashrishth सुखदेव गोस्वामी पाद लाइक परम श्रेष्ठ समबडी इज देयर इन दिस होल मटेरियल वर्ल्ड लाइक सुखदेव गोस्वामी इन भागवत जी महापुराण यू कैन सी सो एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग फाउल वर्ड्स टू द डेमी गॉड्स सो मच फाउल वर्ड्स ही स्पीकिंग टू डेमी गॉड्स दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट लाइक जंगल दे आर जस्ट लाइक एनिमल्स दे आर जस्ट लाइक वराह वाई एक्चुअली दे आर एक्चुअली जस्ट स्पीकिंग लाइक दैट they are with full dhan or just like blind people they are actually coming here and they are just like businessmen they are asking why actually everyone is going to them <laughs> what for sadhu sadhu sant bhagwan is not at all there only just need to go at to their lotus feet all those contaminated people just for money and position i have already heard this kind of just externally i have seen it with my own eyes also that in calcutta one one baniya that's businessman he is actually actually want to speak that is a big sadhu but he is not at all he is so much uh, fraudster and he has got millions of rupees what uh, what not he has done in his life he has also or told i have already just heard this point i i just will more, want to slap to uh, slap on his face twice we that he is actually speaking that just by giving money to the vaishnav they can just come to us just by giving manu just by giving pranami to the sadhu this kind of actual behavior this is not at all a sadhu behavior even his grandfather and his own grandfather don't know what actually sadhu is what is actual they are just actually just having associating with all those theft fraudsters and just that's it they are associating with them externally he has actually getting that rupee but if actually speaking in front of me then definitely i will just be slapping him like anything he is speaking that just by giving money you are getting vishnu it's not at all possible he is speaking like that so if in order to just giving uh, one moral to the disciple in hari katha you just need to if some kind of external talking bhakti no thakur prabhupad sukhdev ko swami pad ji also speaking these kinds of parachar cha external talk because there is actually no fault in that because they are not at all doing for themselves they don't have any kind of jealousy inside their heart no hinsa is there inside their heart there no much sare no hinsa is there inside their heart. but still they are speaking why in order to rectify the situation ye ye jo so this kind of uh, this uh, kind of patan mukh just uh, getting into the fallen condition whatever you are getting your consciousness to get fall down this kind of actual situation in order to rectify that they are actually doing that so guru actually if actually speaking to his disciple and he is just speaking like this 
that directly indirectly that sometimes per church will definitely be there why because if i'll not be speaking negative things to them if you'll not be speaking negative things, then how you can just establish the positive points nobody can uh, understand that you can't understand what i'm speaking if i want if there is if you don't know darkness then then what kind of how you can get the glorification of light that cannot be get prominent in the life so in order to just understand something whether in the bhagavata in sukhdev goswami is there and uh, and sukhdev goswami is also there every each and every one they have actually this kind of it is very much important for them because this is one kind of devotional practice what they are speaking some kind of uh, small par charcha when they are doing some external talking in order to just show it prominent then some kind of uh, no fault will be there at all in that but uh, that previously previous mahajans were there they just by speaking the par charcha and i also i uh, just by starting that with the shloka this i have already spoken that we have to just take the glorification of all the mahajan we have to go to the uh, guru charana we have already seen in bhagavatam that sukhdev goswami speaking lot of uh, foul words lot of uh, foul words he is speaking it means that sukhdev goswami is also doing par charcha he is actually doing is getting jealousy mood <laughs> no not at all what actually speaking here that were so topmost thing here actually speaking he is actually speaking foul words that they are all these actually demigods are there they are actually all they are nidra magna in geeta also actually bhagwan speaking so like this nidraya hyat naktam vyapayena chava vayo diva charte haya rajan kutumb varane nava jani sa sarva bhuta nam tasam jagrati san jasam jagrati san hm jasam jagrati vishay ki kya naam what is we i actually just forgot what's the name so this actually just by having that nidra when you are at in, in at the night time just by hours and hours you are there actually sleeping enjoying sleeping and they are doing all the kind of enjoying things they are actually just wasting their time and they are actually wasting their age actually all wasting and uh, and in the day time just by getting in order to collect money they are going for some job work in order to maintain their relatives and wives and children that they are doing all these things and after that they actually can't understand this point deha patto kalatra dishu atma shanyeshu upi asasu eh asasu upi e jo this actually your by his relatives his family friends they actually he is actually not understanding that they are actually our enemy they are actually our enemy that for wife children relatives sala son in law grand in law everyone all actually they are our enemy dehapatro dehapatto kalapradishu apashanishu asasuvi esa asasu all actually they are asat in bhagavatam it is written there they are ye parijan nahi hai they are not at all parijan ye parijan nahi hai they are not at all parijan they are their sajana khadakhu sajana khadakshu they actually look like parijan they are not at all parijan they are wasting our time they are our topmost enemy they are actually sajana 
they are own they are our own people but they are actually our enemy they are all the time actually uh, just want to just uh, they actually just thefting us they are just uh, robbing us he actually is not at all thinking of himself that definitely their death will definitely gonna come that his uh, time of death he is actually going coming and in the coming time he will be getting into death and he is actually taking in order to maintaining his own life and friend he is thinking that all actually are my fam- friends and family he is actually just destroying his life whatever destruction is creating in his own life he don't have any kind of attention in that so this actually here jasham jagrati bhutani shanisha pashato yaad ho i can und- now i can remember in the gita also bhagwan speaking sarvabhutanam dasham jagrati sangi jasham jagrati bhutani shanisha pashato muni yaad ho now i can just remember this so whatever is there this tamam uh, ye jo whatever is this kind of vishay this uh, you are there it is uh, whatever in our life whatever our life is going going from our hands that our valuable life what is is going from that is so much valuable that valuable life which is going from our hands which is just going towards destruction in this we don't have any kind of attention in that just by seeing just by seeing the also he is not at all seeing this condition just by seeing also he is not at all seeing he is actually has eyes he is actually i'm seeing that his like can't can't see that his life is going just by seeing also he is not at all seeing this is by seeing or not seeing it is all the same just by seeing also he is not at all seeing so his life is actually going on and is just going towards destruction that's it and he is actually not even thinking of himself where actually he is going he are actually thinking of your own that about your uh, son wife children apart from this some acharya was uh, that valuable thing can be there or not so it's very uh, unique and different which are that what kind of parcha in this i am actually speaking to you and i will be definitely discussing tomorrow about this point that uh, i there is actually shortage of time so that's why i have to just uh, uh, finish this topic today and just forgive me शमृग श्रेयसा हेतु पंथा सतापवर्जिता अनवाप्त पूर्वे जेनो सत प्रतस्थिरे बांछकल्पतुषि के पास सिंधु व्यवस्थ पतितानं पावन भविष्य भ्यो नमो नमः